Today, we're gonna have a look at ray traced Minecraft performance on AMD graphics cards. How about them keywords, YouTube? <laughs> Now at this point, we've all probably seen the comparison videos of non-ray traced Minecraft, i.e. loser Minecraft, and the awesome ray traced Minecraft. Those videos actually kind of remind me of those ridiculous weight loss supplement ads that you see on the internet, where the before picture is like some overweight guy, and the after picture is like a clearly different person who's very buff. Now if you haven't heard, the guy that modded ray tracing support into Minecraft, Sonic Ether, or well, Dr. Seuss as I like to call him, has actually added support for AMD graphics cards to his mod, which I actually can't imagine has gone down very well with Nvidia. <laughs> but now, if you have an AMD graphics card, you can also experience the majesty that is ray traced Minecraft. Now I'm gonna use three graphics cards for the test today because, well, these are the graphics cards that I have available to me. The first one is a GTX 1080. Now the smarter of you probably would have noticed that that is in fact an Nvidia GPU, but that's just there as a bit of a point of reference. The AMD graphics cards that I'm gonna use for this test is an AMD Vega 56, which is actually a very good value purchase at the moment if you can find a good deal on one. And then I'm gonna test a more budget focused graphics card, which is the RX 5 70. Now unfortunately it is only the 4 gig version of the graphics card which is a little bit lame but if it can handle ray traced Minecraft that's pretty exciting. And then finally, after we had a look at those benchmarks, I did a comparison with one of my subscribers. Basically what we did is we both logged onto his Minecraft server and I was using a GTX 1080 and he was using his Vega 64. Now we had the same CPU and the same RAM and the same actual settings. So we decided to test how those two compare against each other because, well, they're very comparable GPUs. Now before we get into any of the benchmarks, let me just quickly run you through the test system that I used for these graphics cards. Now the CPU is a Ryzen 7 2700. Now this is the same CPU that I used for my streaming capable PC upgrade, but I did move it into a different motherboard, which is the Strix X370. And then I have 16 gigs of DDR4 running at 3200 megahertz for these tests. Now with that out of the way, let's see how these graphics cards actually perform when it comes to ray tracing on Minecraft. Now I was using pretty basic ray tracing settings and you can actually push it a lot further in the graphics engine, but I was trying to get like a usable result, especially on the lower end graphics cards. Um, so here is the GTX 1080's result and honestly it performed really well. You're getting above 60 frames per second, there's very little stutter and it just feels like a pretty good gaming experience. Now when moving over to the Vega 56, it did also perform very well. It didn't perform as well as the GTX 1080, but honestly, when actually running the benchmark, it still felt like a really good gaming experience in my opinion. Honestly, I would recommend if you are someone who plays a lot of Minecraft, go and check these shaders out because it makes a huge difference. And even though there's a big drop in performance, it still performs pretty well. Now, unfortunately, the story's not as good when you move over to the much cheaper RX 570. Now, when running it at the same settings, it was barely playable. You're hitting an average of about 30 frames per second, and for some people that may be fine, but it, it really is a sluggish performance and it wasn't that great. Now, unfortunately, I was having another weird issue with the RX 570 in that if I dropped the ray tracing settings to like the lowest available settings, it looked really terrible. I mean, this is how terrible it looked like it looks shocking. <laughs> and then when you move it to the middle ground between the lowest settings and the settings that I used, the game just crashed every single time like clockwork. And now finally, we're gonna have a quick look at the performance difference between the GTX 1080 and the Vega 64 of my friend. Now these results are quite interesting in my opinion because the GTX 1080 and the Vega 64 have quite a big gap between the two of them. And the gap is actually quite similar as the gap between the 1080 and the Vega 56. Now the frame rates are lower than my tests that I did earlier because we did use different ray traced settings and different just game settings in general for those tests. Now in conclusion, I'm actually quite impressed with these results. Unfortunately, the GTX 1080 and the Vega 64 didn't compare that well. But if you have a Vega 56, which is a graphics card that you can buy new for not an obscene amount of money these days, you can have a pretty good ray traced performance on Minecraft with an AMD graphics card, which really really makes me think that Dr. Seuss really knows what he's doing about making ray tracing 
in games. Maybe Nvidia should take a couple of notes from him because he really is killing it. Um, I'll have his uh, Patreon account linked in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, do like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. There's a Discord server and all of those good things. Also, follow me on Twitch where I'll stream every Saturday. And yeah, I think with that, until the next video, bye-bye.